Good morning. It's 11.30 now. I just uploaded a video on the Relive app. Not sure if you guys seen it. So uh, my wife said she wanted to go out to have a lunch, uh, have lunch by the beach side. So I'm just gonna grab one of my bike and I'm um, gonna ride around there. The weather doesn't look like it's gonna hold up. Not so good out there. Short drive, I think. This is like 10 km from my home. Just gonna set my bike off and have a little cruise around the beach here. Always countering the wind. The wind is quite strong here. Woo! Just finished the lunch. Now, just finished my fish and chips. The fish and chips was like super cold. It's like super windy here. I don't think I can fly my drone here today. So, gotta have a drink after lunch, right? Let's go! Flying, flying drone. I love my drone. It does its purpose very well. Okay, let's go somewhere else now. Bomb turn. Let's go. This is like half dry, half wet sand with my coaching tie. Oh no! Doesn't work. The whole thing just stuck into the sand. Not very well. Look. Hello. How's your day? How are you? I'm good, thanks. My bike ain't gonna work here. <laughs> I was, but the wind was too strong. Just, hey, I just made it home. Um, while I was doing a short ride down at the Wyndham Jetty, the Wyndham Beachside, Seaside, I think some issues with my bike, with the bottom bracket. Let me show you. I'm not sure, so I'm not sure if you can see it when I ride. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. So when I ride, when I ride hard, even on the flat, uh, and most of the time when I'm going up the little slope, when I have to mash into it, there was this clickings, click, 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 click sound. It's not a sound, it's a feeling that you like that. So it wasn't nice. So usually when this kind of stuff happens, that means the bearing is gone. I hope it is not uh, because the because the bottom bracket on on that bike is uh, quite a unique one. So I guess I will have to remove it and see what's happening with it later on. Uh, it's approaching dinner time, so I want to prepare dinner for my kids. So I'll be coming back and have a look at it at my workshop later on after din dinner. So the sunlight will be gone by then. Um, I hope it's not a BB. If it is regust, if it is related to the tensioner or even the wheels, those won't be easier to fix. Okay, let's sort this out later on. So today I went out to this Wyndham place by the jetty, uh, rode a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, I really rode a little bit. I think I rode less than 1km. Uh, I was with my wife there, like having lunch there. So, but the place is really nice. I think I go there, I'll go there and ride again and um, try to um, 
record some videos there. It's a nice place to be. Down, or actually all the way down the coastline is pretty nice there. So I think I can cover that later on. I was having this issue when I ride a bike. There was this uh, clicking feelings coming from the crank. So usually when you get something coming from the crank, it could mean a few things. 90% I say is coming from the bottom bracket or you have a broken spindle, I don't know. Um, sometimes because the chain is connected to the wheels as well, could be something wrong with the wheel. So we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna start with, remember the video that I made a couple of days ago? Uh, after each ride, you should uh, clean your chain, get a rug and clean your chain. So just to keep it clean, I'm just gonna do that now. Like I said, five seconds is clean already. Okay, so I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna drop the chain and remove the crank and check if the BB is okay. Actually, it's quite hard to check when it's, it's no stress, but I'm gonna check it out. So I'm just gonna remove the crank and check if the bearings are still smooth, but it's a bit unfair when it's not under load, but if it's really broken, you can just spin it with your finger. You, could, you, you will be able to feel if the bearings is gone. So I'm just gonna strip my crank down and see if it goes along. Yeah. Oh, earlier today, someone was asking me if he needs a washer, a spacer, before he installed the BB. So I think I can have that cover a little bit here as well. So let me remove the crank now. So I'm just gonna drop the chain first. Once you loosen out the chain, you can actually remove the chain entirely, but I'm a bit lazy here, so I'm just gonna drop the chain like this. So I'm using this radio crank here. This is the custom made for Brompton version, so everything fits just well. So it is on the text, the star-shaped text connector. So I'm just gonna remove that. For the radio crank, there is actually a safety element which stop the crank from popping off. So the inner bolt here, you actually have to completely remove it. Otherwise, the bolt will actually got the bolt will actually get stuck with the safety catching. So you have to remove the entire bolt, then you can pull the whole arm out. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, not sure if you can see it here. You see the BB is rocking up and down. I think the BB, maybe the cup is a bit loose when it's tightened to the frame. Okay, let me pull the crank out and see what happened. Okay, the crank is out. So when, so when I was tightening it, it keeps on rotating. There's no end to it. Once you reach certain tension, it jumps. It feels like the threads are gone. It's not gripping into it anymore. Let me try it again. So now it's finger tight, and I use the tool, tighten the ball, and it jumps a thread. That's not very good. So that means this cup can never be tightened. All right, so what's happening? This is the lesson learned, I say. I'm not saying all are like this, but as I was telling you guys, this is a very special BB cup. This is actually the Redia Superlight. I don't know what the name is, something made with carbon, hybrid carbon shell, because the shell is not metal. I think it's some form of plastic with carbon, so it makes the shell really light, and hence the whole system is really light. So basically the problem that we found was the threadings was not, were not good. I'm not sure if it is with this Redia carbon shell, the super light carbon shell, where the threadings are so soft, they just keep on jumping, skip, skipping, or the frame, the threadings at the frame are gone. Chances are with the softer shell because the frame is like hard stuff, right? So I'm gonna replace a new BB to this frame and see how it goes with it. But I won't put it here to tonight, otherwise the video is gonna be super long. So I know I was gonna answer a question from the other guy. So I'm gonna put all this in together tomorrow. So tomorrow will be about how I fix up this BB. And I'm gonna answer to the guy about his installations on the third party road bike crank onto the Brompton, the concerns that you might have with it. So tomorrow, let's go into that a bit 
data. And I'm going to talk about my rear wheel as well. I'm using a two-speed original Brompton two-speed rear hub. I love this hub. And I lace this two hub along with my Azuri rims. The one that I, I the, the rim that I believe is the best, the best period for this bike. And anyway, so I chose this wheel because it's quiet. It doesn't make any sound. I don't like loud hubs. So this one is like one of the few very quiet hubs that you can get. But I have modified the inside, all the bearings that I swapped out into a full ceramic. When I say full ceramic, I'm not talking about the normal ceramic on Duros, those kind of brands, those kind of ceramics. Those are like steel casing with the ceramic balls. My full ceramic is ceramic casing and ceramic balls. It's like all white ceramics and they are like super smooth. They roll so well, but they don't last for very long. And I think they are coming to the end of his life. So I'm gonna look into that tomorrow as well. So tonight I'm just gonna leave this here, finish this vlog, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna ride in the morning and I'm gonna fix this bike in the afternoon. So thank you for surviving with me until now. So I shall see you tomorrow. For the meantime, dash. <laughs>